Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. I'm a bad parent. <laughs> Even when I try, I fail. My kids went and saw Black Panther with a bunch of friends. All the parents stayed at home, sent the kids to the movie theater. They come back, we're all drunk, they're so excited. It was the greatest movie ever. All the parents are like, tell us about it, tell us about it, tell us about it. I got a little bit of a buzz. And all I said was, were there a lot of black people there? <laughs> all the parents are like, whoa, what the fuck? And I'm like, what, it's a big moment in black cinema. Like, did you see black people? Like. Did you hear them, or what was the movie like? Was it loud? Did... And all the parents were like, Bert, even my wife's like, stop talking. <laughs> Luckily, my kids stepped up, and they're like, ah, Dad, we don't actually look for that kind of thing, so we couldn't give you an answer. <laughs> Everyone's like, well, at least you raised good kids. A few months later, <laughs> we're at Avengers Infinity War. Nope. <laughs> House lights drop. Trailer start, spread out the popcorn. My youngest daughter, Isla, sitting next to me, reaches over to my popcorn, leans over to my ear and goes, 12. <laughs> oh, no! I go, 12 what, Isla? She goes, you know. I go, I go no, I, I don't know what you're talking about. She leans in closer and goes, Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I feel like I'm a better parent when I'm not there. Like when something happens for my family, if I'm gone, it's so much better. My daughter's got their periods. Oh, Ooh, that was a pause, huh? Oh. <laughs> the guys on the top row are like, all right, I'm gonna go get another beer real quick. <laughs> My daughter's got their periods. Now, Georgia got hers first. She's the oldest. That's how that works. <laughs> I wasn't there, thank God, because I would have fucked that up royally. I would have been like, all right, you go to the river and do laundry for a week. You're dirty. Go and get. Go and get. Now, Georgia, just to paint the picture, is a simple moron, like a very good hearted Christian moron. Just doesn't know what she's saying. Aww. We were we were playing we were playing categories one time. You know where you roll the dice, letter comes up, fill out all the categories. Me, George, and Isla. We roll the letter N. I look at Isla. First one is U.S. states. I go, Isla, what did you put for U.S. states to start with N? And she goes, couldn't think of one. I go, you're in eighth grade. You couldn't think of one state that started with the letter N. And she goes, no. Could you? And I go, yeah, Nevada. She goes, never heard of it. <laughs> I go, Georgia, what did you put? She goes, New Hampshire. I was like, Isla, is that a state? <laughs> I thought that was a Providence. <laughs> Next one, street names. I go, Isla, what'd you put for street names to start with letter N? And she goes, Nebraska. I'm like, bitch! That's, oh. that's what I put. <laughs> I go, Georgia, what did you put for street names to start with the letter N? And she goes, um, I think I did this wrong. I go, what did you put for street names that start with the letter N, George? And she goes, I don't want to tell you guys. Oh, I, think, I did it. I, I think I'm going to keep it to myself. I'm like, now you're definitely fucking telling us. Oh, my God. She goes, I wrote Notorious B.I.G. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that his street name? No. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, you beautiful fucking idiot. Yes, it was. She got her period. On a Saturday night, in the middle of the night, woke up Sunday morning, bleeding, freaking out, crack of dawn. I was on the road, thank God. Walked into our bedroom, woke up my wife, five in the morning, bleeding and crying. Her exact words were, Mommy, I'm not ready to be a big girl today. It breaks your heart, it really does. My, my wife is a fucking gangster. I joke a lot about her. She's a bad motherfucker. Dude, she scooped her up, took her out to the living room, put her down on the couch, put some towels down, I hope. <laughs> Went out, got donuts, came home, started season one, episode one of Downton Abbey. 
And that became their show. That was George's entrance into womanhood. Aww. That's how they bonded. I came home, I didn't even know anything had happened. I was drunk, obviously. <laughs> we had just put our new pool in, so I, I go and I grab Isla, I take her outside, I throw her in the pool. I grab Georgia. You already know it, don't you? Oh, no. The second I grab her, she goes, get your hands off me! <laughs> I'm like, whoa, 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 you do not talk to your father like that. Isla pops up out of the pool. Dad, we got a bleeder! <laughs> Georgia starts crying immediately. Leanne yells at me. I end up in the pool with Isla drinking a double Tito's and soda. <laughs> Getting the full rundown. Isla's like, Dad, I followed the tracks into Mom's room. What? I go, you followed tracks? He goes, like a hunter, Dad. <laughs> Looks at me dead in the face and goes, hey, Dad, I promise you right now, I'll never get my period. Uh -oh. I was like, really? She goes, yeah, I'll always be your best little buddy. I almost started crying in the pool because I was like, how stupid is she? <laughs> I'll tell you how stupid she is. I'll tell you exactly how stupid she is. If you spend too much time with her, you start getting stupid. Does that make sense? <laughs> we, we took a family trip this summer. <laughs> First morning, we all sit down for breakfast. Isla shows up five minutes late, sits at the table, looks at me and goes, hey, big boy. Uh, what did you think about those dreams last night, huh? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> now we're all looking at each other going, she thinks we have the same dreams? <laughs> She's 12. She, for 12 years, she thought we all got the same dreams. <laughs> programmed every night that everyone got the same set like it's must-see TV but then I'm sitting across from her going I had two dreams about this kid last night what if she cracked the code I lean across the table I go hey did you have a dream that I was locked in a trunk my wife goes what the fuck are you doing <laughs> we don't have the same dreams I like kicks me under the table she goes I'll talk to you after breakfast <laughs> That afternoon, we're going snorkeling, right? We're out on the boat, and I'm watching Isla look off the side of the boat at the horizon. It looks beautiful. Great moment as a parent to say, hey, baby girl, what are you thinking about? Your kid turns around, dream scenario. Hey, dad, thanks. <laughs> I go, hey, baby girl, what are you thinking <laughs> about? She turns around and goes, we should get tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting tattoos. She goes, no, Dad, think about it. If we all got the same one, we'd never regret it. <laughs> I go, you're 12, Isla. What tattoo would you want? She goes, what's it called when you cover your arm? I go, you want a fucking sleeve? <laughs> you want a sleeve? You're going to be the only eighth grader walking into homeroom like it's a jujitsu <laughs> tournament. <laughs> what do you want sleeved on your arm, Isla? She goes, a wolf. <laughs> yeah, Dad, his head would start up here. His body would come by my elbow and his tail would come out to my fingertip. Oh, wow. <laughs> that way you'd know if I was happy because I'd be wagging my finger. Oh! <laughs> I'm like, turn this boat around, we're getting tattoos. <laughs> there was a period of time where Leanne and I would take Isla's tests from school outside and read her answers aloud to no. each other oh, no. in astonishment at the human being we had created. She took a test in Proverbs one time. Very simple. Proverbs. They gave her the first part. She had to fill out the second part. Very simple. The grass is always greener. When you water it is what she put. <laughs> Don't bite the hand. That's brown. Children should be seen and not touched. This <laughs> is the child. <laughs> this is the child in chest deep water in a pool staring me in the eyes going, I'll never get my period, I promise. <laughs> then a year and a half later on a Friday. Now, it's important I tell you it's a Friday because on Fridays, 
Uh, Leanne, my wife, goes to therapy and her chiropractor. So she is incommunicado all day. I'm at home. Mm -hmm. Phone rings. It's a school nurse. She goes, I have Isla uh -oh. in the office. Is there a parent at home? I was like, I'll do. <laughs> Gives the phone to Isla. Her first words, I tried to stop it, Dad. Oh, <laughs> I go, oh. stop what? She goes, I got my period. I'm like, bitch, you promised. <laughs> I'm like, you called the wrong number, dickhead. Call your mom. <laughs> she's like, Dad, I need you right now. Immediately as a parent, I'm melting down. So I'm like, she's freaking out at school. She's by herself. She's going through what Georgia went through. This isn't my skill set. But I got this. I go, okay, baby. All right. Okay. How'd you get it? <laughs> what? How'd you get it? She was like, Dad. I was playing kickball. <sighs> Immediately, I'm like, oh, poor kid, probably thought she blew out her pussy. <laughs> Just, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I'm out, coach, I'm out. Yeah, I tore my twat. <laughs> it's bad. I blew out my cooch, coach, I'm gonna have to sit this one out. Pinch runner, pinch runner. <laughs> Now I'm spiraling. I'm like, all right, what do you need from me? New pants, new panties, new socks. Did it get in your socks? <laughs> a bucket, some towels, garlic. We're going to keep the vampires away from you. What? <laughs> She's like, Dad, I'm fine. Mom gave me a go bag. What? I go, okay, then what are you calling me for? She goes, I need you to go to the store and get supplies. I'm like, how bad is this, period? <laughs> She's like, no, Dad, I'm throwing myself a period party tonight. I'm like, I'm sorry, what did you just say? <laughs> She's like, all the girls are doing it, Dad. I need you to go to the store and get supplies. Get a red velvet cake. I'm like... <laughs> I go, baby, I don't think I can eat a red velvet cake. <laughs> Knowing what it symbolizes. <laughs> She's like, Dad, you need a red velvet cake for a period party because you put the name of your period on the cake. I'm like, what? What? Who <laughs> names their period? <laughs> She's like, Georgia named hers after the girl from Progressive Auto Insurance. Hello? Oh, my God. <laughs> She's like, Dad, please, I need you right now. I have 10 people coming tonight. I go, we have 10, 10 little girls people? coming to the house? She goes, no, eight girls, two boys. I'm like, who invites boys to a period party? And I hear her sinister little giggle <laughs> on the phone, and she goes, Dad, that's the fun of it. <laughs> we don't tell them why they're there. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm like, fuck it, I'm in. <laughs> I have never had more fun at a party in my entire oh life. My God. <laughs> Planning, hosting, and attending a period party. I dressed all in red like it was Chinese New Year's. <laughs> Drinking Pinot Noir, I made pasta with chunky marinara sauce. Oh, <laughs> and I giggled the whole night with all these little girls at these two boys, Max and Carter, right? Faces covered in red cake. <laughs> like it's their honeymoon and they're like, fuck it, I'll eat it anyway. <laughs> the whole party, these two boys are looking at the cake going, who the hell's Jason? Jason? <laughs> My daughter, Isla Kreischer, Named her period Jason because she got it on Friday, Friday the 13th. The 13th. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Dude>. What? <laughs> I pray this child doesn't find marijuana. <laughs>